Welcome to a tutorial on OpenLM. Now we'll see how to install the FlexLM License Manager with a broker and without a broker. Now a broker sits on the license server itself, monitoring the license manager, but OpenLM server can also connect directly. You lose out on a lot of benefits if you don't use a broker. So let's check it out. First of all, we'll need to open up our license manager, our license server holding the license managers. We'll go to OpenLM and open up our broker. Now this is a test environment, so there are a few, but you should only have one. So once the interface opens, it tells us that we need to configure an OpenLM server to point to, and we see that it's testing out different ports and it will automatically configure them. Now all we need to do is click on OpenLM servers, add OpenLM servers, and point it to the OpenLM server we have. Let's check connectivity. And it's successful. We click apply. And basically that's it. But let's check what it found. So if it didn't find anything, you'll simply need to click here and then add port. You'll get the port. You'll be able to set the number, the type. And under advanced, this should point to the vendor supplied license file. For example, I have a license file here of Autodesk. If you want to set the path manually, simply click here and then add. Remember to watch license file and always apply. Under commands, you should have the path leading to the lmutil of the license manager. The lmutil is an executable allowing OpenLM to read license output. Now under status and data inquiry, we can see this path leading to the lmutil. Let's click execute to see that we are getting license output. Let's go under vendors. If we don't have a vendor, simply click add vendor. Here we'll need to input the exact name of the vendor. We'll select the options file. So I have it right here, my options file, and I'll watch the options file every 600 seconds. Now let's go to log files. If we don't have a log file here, simply click add log file, and it will add it. And under it, this is the FlexLM debug log. So we got a debug log, Esri, or other. Just give it a name and set the path to it. Select the vendor that you, you input here, and that's it. We simply apply and restart broker. We're done on the broker side, so let's go to the OpenLM server. All we'll need to do is open up the OpenLM user interface. We'll close the alerts, the feature usage status, and we can see two red lines that we can approve. These are lines representing brokers send, sending information to the OpenLM server. So we'll simply click Approve and give it a name. So this is Autodesk and this is MATLAB. Now all we need to do is open up the services, the Windows services, and open up and search for uh, OpenLM server. We'll just restart it. And once it's restarted, we'll be able to see in the interface that these alerts are now gone and the license servers are starting to be configured. Now it might take up to uh, one to three minutes for it to actually be configured on the system. As you see here, it will take some time. Now, let's say that you 
cannot install an OpenLM broker on your license server. Let's say that uh, you're not allowed to. Maybe you don't have permissions to. So you can connect to the license manager directly using the OpenLM server. You don't have to go through the OpenLM broker. What you'll need to do, you'll simply need to open up the OpenLM server configuration tool. And once it's up, you'll be able to bypass the broker. So now we have these two. But let's say that we added a new one, selected its type, gave it a name, selected the time zone on the license server itself, selected if it's a triad or not, gave it a host name, gave it the license server host name, and the port. Now an important part is this. If you choose to read license file, that means that you have a license file configured on the OpenLM broker. Let's take a look at it. Under port advanced, this license file, if it's configured, this checkbox has to be checked. But if you don't have that configured, uncheck it. And if nothing is checked, that means that you are using an OpenLM broker. But if you want to bypass the broker and just connect directly, although you lose out on many benefits if you don't use the broker, so just click this checkbox, apply, and restart now. Once it's restarted, we can go to the interface and also refresh the page. And now we'll have two servers, one configured with a broker and another not configured with the broker. And uh, that's about it. Thanks, bye.